What? They brought you to the prison late last night. I heard them beating you up in the corridor. Please, try not to be sick. It's a very small cell. Why did they put me in a cell with a woman? They seemed to think it was a good joke. There were some disparaging comments about your virility. And anyway, it's filling up in here. No one can afford to be choosy. So you've been on your own? There were two other women here. They shot them yesterday afternoon. Shot? For... Why? What have they done? Where have you been? I don't understand. Since the uprising, people can be shot just for being themselves, just for thinking, understand? <coughs> My name is Pilar Morgado Marquez. What's yours? Jose. Just Jose? Just Jose. And where have you been? Morocco. They brought us back a couple of months ago. And why are you in prison? There was a woman, a gypsy. She'd been caught stealing from the church. Oh, no. holy mother. I was guarding her. She pleaded with me. She pretended she was a Basque like me. I knew she wasn't, but still, I... There was something about her. I let her go. Good. Good. It's not good. Up till now, I've been a model soldier. Next month, I was going to be promoted. Now. It's good, Jose, because it shows you're a human being and not a machine. It shows you're a man, not a fascist. I am a soldier. I should obey orders. Do you know that in the Basque country, your own people are taking up arms against your fascist army? I don't understand. It's, it's not my business to understand. It is your business. Your army is in revolt against the Republic. Tomorrow you could receive orders to march north and shoot your mother. What would you do then? In my country, you live among forests and mountains. When you grow up there, you become part of the trees. There's never any difficulty in knowing what to do. The land will always tell you. But when I left, when I had to go away and join the army, I found that other people did not live in this way. The way they thought was twisted and, and difficult. So I decided I wouldn't try to understand them. I would only obey orders, keep out of trouble, and think secretly in the way of my homeland. But when that gypsy spoke to me yesterday, she spoke in my language. What she said went against my orders, but when I heard her voice, I knew I had to obey. You were right. The voice inside you. Your orders should come from there. That's easy for you to say. What orders do you have to obey? I have orders. But my orders are based on the science of reason, not on superstition and blind prejudice. My orders make sense, so I have no difficulty obeying oh, them. What are these orders? Where do they come from? From the Central Committee, Jose. I'm a communist. We got two of them, yeah. Well, that's not a point. You want a clean job, you want a lot. You've done all right, Corp. Mm, neck of my chance of another strike this month, isn't it? Mm. Who's there? Tell your fortune, Corporal. You, I know. Listen to me, Corporal. No listening, you're under arrest. Listen, or there'll be trouble for you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. What about your lieutenant? You're afraid of him. Lieutenant Del Theado. So? If anything happened to his Carmen, he'd be angry. <laughs> Don't try it on with me. Can you read? Of course I can read. Then read this. Oh, this is a con. He has to be. An official pass, signed and sealed. No, he's straight as a die, that lieutenant. How'd you get this out of him? Business. I did him some favours. In return... Oh, you filth. You contaminate this army. The privates, the officers, yes, everybody... Yes, but I never bother with corporals. Who is it you want to see? Who do you think? My little Basque. I brought him some bread. See? He's on starvation. Not anymore, he isn't. Emilio, you stay here. Corporal. You, Thitana, this way. There is no God, Jose. There is no magic. There are only people who exploit or are exploited. Aye, aye. Spain is a country governed by old men. 
The landowners screw the peasants, the factory owners screw the proletariat. The church presides over this process with its superstition and mystification. The government of the Republic has achieved some successes, but the forces of reaction will not tolerate even these small gains, and they're massing now in an attempt to crush the will of the people. You Basques think of yourself as different, but you're in the same boat as the rest of us. The old men of the right want a unified, strong Spain. One state, one language, one religion, one culture. Any deviations from this norm will be ruthlessly crushed. Of course, they'll pay lip service to your Basque traditions. But once you start talking about a separate Basque nation, they'll move the troops in. The struggle against the right is indivisible. We're all in it together. Your people recognise that. And you, because you believe in God or honour or mountains, choose to ignore it. But one day you'll wake up. I'm telling you this so you can wake up sooner. Pila, if you know so much, if you're so clever, how come you're inside this prison? The committee sent me, a whole group of us here, to coordinate the struggle against the uprising. We failed. Why? Because your fascist army with its German friends was too strong for us. And the government is not as popular as it should be. <gasps> no. The collectivization policies, some of the peasants don't like them. Well, it's early days yet. And the government hasn't been radical enough. Now it's open war. The peasants and workers will rally to our cause quicker. Except here in Seville, eh? Here? Here there are also many anarchists. They don't want to organise themselves. Even when the fascists are firing at them, they don't want to organise. I thought this would be a problem all along. But you had to obey orders. Yes, I had to obey orders. Boss! There's some gypsy filth to see you. Come. Two minutes, that's all. My, my beautiful Basque boy, my love. Oh, Carmen. What have I done to you? It's, I don't know. It's just seeing you. Here, I brought you some bread. But it's dangerous for you here. How did you... I can talk my way around corporals. This bread, they give us nothing in here. Listen, this isn't just ordinary bread. It's bread from Alcala de los Panadairos. It's special. Understand. Come on, let's be having you. Goodbye, little Basque. Move it! Goodbye, Carmen. Comrade, are you going to share that bread? I haven't eaten for two days. What? Except there's no point in me eating it. They're going to shoot me tomorrow. It's a waste of good food. But if you eat it, it'll make you stronger so you can kill more of my comrades when they let you out. <laughs> so in that case... I ought to fight you for it and eat it all, even if it makes me sick. <laughs> this is your science of reason, is it? You're hungry, that's reason enough. Here, Pilar, eat. Thank you, comrade. You think she loves you, don't you? She came here. She risked capture just to see me. Jose, listen. She doesn't love you. You don't know her. I know love. You know nothing. All you know is your theory. The people's fight for this, the people's fight for that. Then you come here and the people won't fight the way you want them to. That's all you know. I'm sorry. No. You're right. I don't know her. I don't know you. And I don't know love. I'm sorry. I haven't eaten for so long. Mm -hmm. 
It's good. <laughs> it's like she said. It's special, bread. What's that? What? I don't... There's something in the bread. A gold coin. And a file. One side of the loaf is food, the other side is freedom. <laughs> Comrade, you gave me the wrong half. Ah, Corporal. Lieutenant Dothiera, sir. At ease, Corporal. New orders. We're starting the push north in a few days' time. Every man needed. You have some defaulters here? Only a handful, sir. We need the lot. Feed them and have them turned out in one hour's time. With respect, sir, there's one that the bishop regards as a serious offender. Well, he won't be happy to set him free, sir. He'll be even less happy if he gets a Molotov cocktail through his stained glass window. I want any man who can walk and hold a gun. Sir. Bring them to me on the parade ground at six sharp. Sir. Sir. All the way to Madrid, is it, sir? Hope so, Corporal. Straight through Cordoba. Be there in a fortnight, sir. Not quite. The word is, we're going the long way round, through Merida. Seal up the Portuguese border. You're part of the world, Corporal. Nice picnic for you. Sir. Absolute picnic. By the book. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and the fruit of thy We can escape, Jose. We can both escape. We file through the bars. Half an hour's work, no more. No. What do you mean, no? The army gave me a place to hide. Without the army, I have nowhere to go. I must be patient, serve my punishment, and wait for the time when I'm forgiven. You can't trust them. They might be planning to shoot you as an example. As soon as I go through that window, I'm a deserter. I have no one to go to, nowhere that's safe. You could come with me. Join the comrades. Priest baiters. Antichrists. I know what you want. You don't want to leave Seville in case you lose your gypsy. No. <laughs> your little camencita. I said no. Then stay here. But give me the file. Let me get away at least. So the guards come in the morning, the bars are filed and you're gone. I've let another woman escape. For God's sake, give me... No. Let go of the file. Give it to me! Please, just let go! Now then, children! Well, Sunbeam, it's your lucky day. We're a vengeance. Franco needs men so badly, he's even prepared to forgive riffraff like you. We're marching to the front at the end of the week. You've got yourself an official pardon so the commies can shoot at you. Make ready to leave your cell in two minutes. Yeah, pity for the commie slag. She'll be all on her own. I'll be right back. See? You see? The army believe in me. They give me another chance. Oh, you stupid little moron. It was a waste of breath even talking to you. Don't even ask me. Don't even ask me to give you the file. The general needs me. Spain needs me. I'll show them how a boss can fight. You heard the corporal. We're going to the front. We're going to be in some real action. So just don't ask me, okay? Pilar. Yes? It's just, we're on different sides, that's all. Jose, we're on the same side. But you haven't seen it yet. Prison incorrect. Then let's be having you outside on a double. Come on, I don't want to see you move. I want to see you here. Freedom! If I hadn't met her, 
I'd be in the barracks now. Perhaps even a corporal, eager for tomorrow's war. Get clean, polished, perfect. Longing to be in amongst the real action. Not just endless patrols rounding up tribesmen. Real war. Grenades and rifle fire. Glory. But all I can think of is that woman. Dancing up there with my officers. And the thought of going to fight and never coming back. Never seeing her again. Makes my sweat run cold. And the world of men fighting for what they think they believe is nothing more than a safe, cosy game. Hey, Jose. My little busk. Still standing guard. What's the matter, little busk? Did prison make you deaf? Go away. Go back to your officer friends. Is that what you want? Yes. I don't believe you. Three days I've been out of prison. You promised me the earth. But every time I see you, in the street you run and disappear down an alleyway. Now I'm here outside while you're up there, dancing and drinking with the top brass. All that I want to do is forget you. Now leave me alone. Have it your own way, little Basque. I'll leave you alone. So I can dance with my lieutenant. <laughs> Carmen, is that you? Long live Spain! Private. Sir! Quiet watch? No, sir, but nothing to report. Good, good. <laughs> Tomorrow, Private. Sir? Tomorrow, Private, we are going to tear that red shower apart. Sir? Tonight we have celebrated war. Tomorrow we will celebrate victory. Sir? Have you been in the Foreign Legion? No, sir. Know their motto? No, sir. The motto of the Spanish Foreign Legion? Long live death. Long live death. Long live death. Private, attention! Sir! Didn't see a gypsy girl come this way? No, sir. Said so she'd wait. Must have slipped off. Huh? Slipped off. Hmm. Very well. Private. Dismiss. Said she'd wait for you. Gypsy criminal! Little bus. So there you are. So, I'm a criminal to you now, little Basque. I am not your little Basque. I am not your little anything. My name is Don Jose Lizarabengo. And though I may appear young and foolish to you, I am the son of a noble line. I thank you for your gift of bread, which I shared with another prisoner while in jail as a result of your treachery. I disdain to use your file. I would not add desertion to the foolish crime I committed on your behalf. As for your gold coin, I have kept it so I may return it to you at the earliest possible moment. For your despicable behavior when we first met, and for your taunting of me this evening, I have nothing but contempt. So, our account is settled. Goodbye. Jose! So, when you are provoked by your honor, you are a man of words. But you are wrong. Our account is not settled. Above everything else, my people prize liberty. I owe my freedom to you. And for this debt, I owe you everything. Come on. They gave me money for my dancing. Follow me! She took to her heels and ran through the night, driving her feet into the cobbles until the sparks flew. Through the narrow streets until we came to a huddle of tiny shops where she flung her money on the counter. Oranges, a dozen. Sausages, olives. Hurling back at the shopkeeper anything that displeased her. Cheese, wine, the smoothest manzanilla. 
bread from Alcala de los Panaderos, and the succulent sugared yolks of eggs. She gathered up her bundle and raced away into the moonlight until we came to a narrow street. This way, little bird, don't shoot her. A white wall, a weathered wooden door, which she hammered with her fist until an ancient gypsy woman in black opened it. A whispered conversation in a language I'd never heard. Then up the twisting stairs to the top of the house, a room clean, white, bare, shutters, a candle burning low, a table, a bed. Will you come in? You don't know where we are, do you? I, all those streets and alleyways. I thought I knew the way we were going. And it doesn't matter. Did you see the old woman sitting on the chair in the street? It's her house. I use it whenever I want. Don't you like the room? Yes. I gave her something once, a long time ago. And now she honors the debt, just as I will honor my debt to you. Wine. The Romany word for husband is Rom. The word for wife is Romy. Tonight, you are my Rom. I am your Romy. I will repay my debt to you down to the very last drop. Take off that belt. You were jealous tonight when I danced for your officers. Now I dance only for you. like every other floorboard you've ever seen. These shoes are only leather. Why is the contact between them so clearly the work of the devil? The oranges of Seville are firm and round and nurtured in the hot sun. And they are protected by the outer casing which is bitter and hard to swallow. But once this has been torn away, a man is left with the rich, slippery, vulnerable part, which drop by drop yields up its juice and satisfies his thirst. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? The bugle. It's late. Tomorrow we're going to the front. I, I mustn't be late. You mustn't be late? I bring you here in this sacred repayment of a debt of freedom from a Romany to a Payo. And all you want is to run away to your straw barracks mattress so you can be fit and fresh to be dragged off in the morning for cannon fodder? I can't. I can't. Not again. It's... Jose, do you love me? Yes. Then don't go. Oh, Carmen. <sighs> What are you doing? I must go. I must. You must go? Last night, you were a man. Now, you're a khaki ghost, stinking of fear, ready to be ordered like a dog. If I can only, 
I just get on the rear of the column. In the confusion, I might just get away with it. Last night, I lied to you. I said I owed you a debt. It wasn't true. What can a real Romany owe to a payo like you? You were good looking and you pleased me. That's all. When will I see you? When you've grown up. I must see you. Ever since that first time you... You cheated me. I've thought of nothing, of no one else. Even when I was in prison for your sake, I, I must. I have to see you. You don't understand, do you? What? The devil has many faces. He doesn't always come dressed in black. If I were you, my little Basque, I'd scuttle off to my regiment, march in a straight line without ever looking back, and light a candle for my soul in every church on the road to Madrid. You've met with the devil. If you don't turn and run, her hoof will be forever in your neck. You're not the devil? This isn't the devil of your Christian superstitions. This is the devil of the world. This is the real devil. I don't believe you. Stop believing. Now go away. Lose yourself in your war. No, don't ever look back. I must see you. Yes. You will see me. It's here in the dregs of the wine. Better for you if it wasn't. But where? When? Gypsies, soldiers. We both belong to tribes who travel. Somewhere the roads will cross. Go on. Your drums are calling. Goodbye. I can see it. In the dregs of the wine. <laughs>